on page 102, exercise 36, and this is a continuation from uh, the last presentation. Again, we have a paced rhythm here where we have a problem now. Now we have pacer spikes without QRSs. And uh, so let's start with the heart rate first. So the heart rate is really based <clears throat> on the captured beats. So here we have a Y QRS, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one way over here. So we have uh, four capture beats in about a six second strip, it might be a little longer than a six second strip, multiplied by that, uh, that by 10, we've got a heart rate of about 40. So now we have a bradycardic rhythm, and this is a bit of a problem. Um, we don't have uh, P waves, and this is a single chamber pacemaker, which is uh, very, very common, uh, where you just have, um, there are no P waves, but there's a, a pacer spike followed by QRS. And um, uh, peer interval is not applicable in this case. The QRS is always wide in paced rhythms. The ratio is not applicable. The rhythm is irregular. And in this case, we have a paced rhythm with frequent loss of capture or intermittent capture failure with a heart rate of 40. So when you see uh, pacer spikes here that, that stand alone without a QRS, that means that there's capture failure. Now, there's electrical capture and there's mechanical capture. And electrical capture means that... Um, um, or failure of electrical capture means we see a pacer spike without a QRS. That's failure of electrical capture or loss of capture. Um, if we um, check for a pulse and there's a pacer spike with no pulse, then that's a mechanic failure of mechanical capture. So we should be able to feel a pulse with this. That would mean that there's mechanical capture. Um, we know there's electrical capture because we have a pacemaker spike and a YQRS complex, and a pulse would tell us there's mechanical capture. Here we have loss of capture. So if we don't see electrical capture, we're probably not going to feel mechanical capture, but we're going to check a pulse anyway. And if you were to feel a pulse, it would probably be in around the 40 range. So this is a serious problem. This is a pacemaker rhythm with loss of capture with a bradycardia, and um, it may be positional. So you may find that the patient has good capture when they're lying on one side and uh, loss of capture when they're lying on another side. So you might sort of fiddle with that during transport. Uh, but this is a problem that has a pacemaker problem that can only be treated and managed in hospital where they may actually have to go in and uh, make adjustments to the pacemaker.